of the pastor of Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple, Suffolk Bishop LaBelta Daniel, myself, Pastor Trish, we would like to welcome you to our seventh annual Black History Program. Listen, take time now to share and to like this broadcast with your Facebook family and friends. We are so excited today that we have the opportunity to just share with you and to salute all of our Black Americans that have gone on before us, who have paved the way in the field of music and sacred arts, in the field of academia and politics and science and medicine, education, who have set the way and paved the way for us today. Today, we're gonna to be honoring people even in our religious world, just like our apostolic father here, my father, the late Bishop Paul A. Bowers, who paved the way in religiosity. We want to portray today, and you are going to get excited as you see us portray Harriet Tubman, and that's from years past, and the present, Kamala Harris, our vice president. We're also gonna portray our future leaders, a young man who's going to portray being a future president of our country. So get excited. We want to thank Pastor Janet Jackson and the entire food service department who is sponsoring this program. So sit back, get excited, go with us on this journey as we celebrate those who have paved the way in the past, those who are paving the way right now, I call them living legends, and to encourage our young people to let them know you can do anything that God has for you to do and be anything God has for you to be. All right. God bless. Thank you for joining us. Lord Jesus, we come before you this day. We give you praise, honor, and glory. We thank you, Lord, for your many manifold blessings that you bestowed upon. We thank you, Lord, for your divine, your divine protection, how you watched over us during the day and during the night. Lord, you're such a wonderful God, a just and merciful God. We ask you to bless this African uh, Black History Month program that Great Emmanuel is putting on today. We ask you to bless all the participants. We pray that everything will be done decent and order, and even in this program, you will get the glory. We give you thanks. We ask you to remember those that are sick. We ask you to touch their bodies and send deliverance and healing. Those that have lost loved ones, we ask you to comfort them. We ask you to bless our pastor and our first lady. We ask you to bless the saints of God everywhere. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture reading is going to be from Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with all, my cup runneth over, over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. the Lord and good afternoon. We have been asked to share a spiritual song this afternoon for Black History Month. Spirituals were often sung that contain codes to help communicate directions. For example, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home was often sung and that let others know that people were coming from the north to the south to help with the escape. The song went something like this. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me. Home, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. 
things were terrible for the slaves. There were always problems and challenges, but they knew that better days were coming. They had a hope that things would not always be the way they were. And that hope often lied in the fact they knew that Jesus would someday come and carry them home. They often sang songs while working in the fields. These songs lifted their spirits, but they also sent a message of escape and warning. Songs like Wade in the Water. They knew when this song was sung that when they saw the water, they needed to get into the water so that their scent could no longer be tracked. And songs that let them know there is going to be an escape, but you must be ready or you will be left behind. And so it is true for us today. If we don't daily live our life for our escape, and that escape will be when Jesus calls us home. Lord, if I got my ticket, can I ride? If I got my ticket, can I ride? If I got my ticket, can I ride? Ride away to heaven in the morning. Lord, if I got my ticket, can I ride? If I got my ticket, can I ride? If I got my ticket, can I ride, ride, ride away, away to heaven in the morning? Well, I heard a lot of talk about a gospel train. Better be ready, cause it's on his way. Be down at the station right on time. If you're not ready, you'll be left behind. Clean out the world and leave no sin. I'll tell you, brother, he's coming again. Lord, if I got my ticket, can I ride? If I got my ticket, can I ride? If I got my ticket, can I Right away to heaven in the morning. Well, I heard a lot of talk about a judgment day. You better be ready, cause it's on its way. Be down at the station right on time. If you're not ready, you'll be left behind. Clean out the world and leave no sin i'll tell you brother he's coming again lord if i got my ticket can i ride if i got my ticket can i ride if i got my ticket up to the American Civil War, there was an idea to ship all African Americans back to Africa and colonize. This idea was gaining a lot of attention, support, and traction. Harriet Tubman opposed to this idea. In 1859, she expressed her opinion to an, at a meeting, the New England Colored Citizenship Convention. There was an audience who opposed rep repatriation. Harriet Tubman often, in her speeches, spoke in parables and fables. There was this man who grew, who sold onions and garlic on his land to, to increase his dairy production. 
but he found that the butter was strong and would not sell. So he concludes to sow clover instead. But he found that the wind blew the onions and the garlic all over his fields. Just so. The white man bring the nigger here to do all his drudgery. And now he wants to root him out and send him back to Africa. But it won't work. We're rooted here and you can't pull us up. It is my honor to be here today, to stand on the shoulders of those who came before me, to speak to you as your vice president. Women have paved the way for this moment. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality and liberty and justice for all, including black women, who are often, too often, overlooked, but who have been proven to be the backbone of our democracy. All the women who have worked to sacrifice and protect the right to vote for all centuries, 100 years ago with the 19th Amendment, 55 years ago with the Voting Rights Act, and now in 2020 with this new generation of women in our country who cast their balance and continue to fight for their fundamental rights to vote and be heard. Today, I reflect on their struggles, their determination, and the strength of their vision to see what can be unburdened by what has been. While I may be the first woman in the office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching sees that this is a country of possibilities. And to the children of our country, regardless of your gender, our country has sent you a clear message. Dream with ambition. Lead with conviction and see yourself in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. But we will applaud you every step of the way. So I say, let's continue to band together, inspire one another, speak up, take action, and lead with action. And in the words of John Lewis, never be afraid to make noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. God bless you and God bless America. is Joseph David Bowden. This, the year is 2034. I'm a proud African American. Today I celebrate the 13th Amendment that has allowed me to live and work and earn a fair wage as a free man. I celebrate the Civil Rights Act of Act of 1954, the Supreme Court declared segregation in schools were unconstitutional. That has allowed me to attend the school of my choice with people of all races. I graduated high school in the great state of Ohio. I then moved to, on to Harvard University and graduate. These freedoms have allowed me to become, to be a, to be a successful lawyer, well-known political lawyer, lawyer on my 
way to the White House. Thank you to former, thank you former President Barack Obama, former Madam Vice President Kamala Harris, and former Madam President Amanda Gorman, who are the key who are the key players in paving on the way for me. So remember to vote for Joseph Biden for President of the United States of America. their children, then raised their buildings, and they made billions. I'm catching feelings. Really? What else did we build? Railroads. Wall Street. The White House and University. UVA. We built that. Chapel Hill. We built that. Pyramid. No, sorry, our Hebrew brothers get credit for that. Miles. Let's turn up and get it poppin'. Settle down, we still ain't got nothing. We built this. I'ma keep it 100. Tomorrow when I hit the field, I'ma keep running. We did everything that the overseer wanted. And if we got paid, then we'd be stunting. Sugar cane, cotton hail. My blood is wet, paid for this land. My life would have been different if I didn't have cinnamon pigment. We built this. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hope you are enjoying your dinner right now as you watch our Black History program. We are so happy to be able to come into your homes right now, and we hope that we just want to bring some comfort, some love, some peace to you. Since you can't come out in the sanctuary, we hope that you will enjoy. Did we have a good time? Woo! Was it a good time? Let's give everybody a hand for all that they've done, and we just hope that you uh, will continue to uh, look at our different programs that we have, and so now we would like you to remember that you can give, hallelujah, and we want to just encourage you to continue to look at our broadcasts and our programs that we have. We want to thank everybody who participated in our Black History program this year. Um, I thank you so much and all that you've done. Praise the Lord and thank you again, everyone. What a tremendous time of celebrating our heritage our culture, from the songs, from the dance, from the topics, from the individuals. We certainly are grateful that the Lord has allowed us to have another year to do this. 
And what a year are we celebrating? We are celebrating what a time. Historical things are going on for people of color. Never happened before. And just think you're a part of that to Pastor Jackson and her staff, all of our participants, amen. We certainly appreciate your, your, your efforts, your energy, and the gift that God has given you from the marvelous spirituals. I should have been singing with them, hallelujah, but I didn't know it, amen. But we wanna thank God for you. Listen, keep this in your heart the whole year. Keep in your heart that you are somebody, not because of the color of your skin, but because of the blood of Jesus that's in you. Keep in your heart the whole year that in spite of everything that's going on, you are more than a conqueror. And uh, I hope you enjoy this great food we're having also. Again, Pastor Jackson, our whole committee, and everyone, thank you for another great celebration of Black History Month. Let us look to the Lord. God, we bless you today. We magnify you. We love you. And because of you, we live and move and have our being. As we go forth into this world, keep us covered, keep us protected under your blood. Only you can do these things, but Lord, you do them so well. And we love you for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. Grace and peace, everyone. Please listen attentively to our exciting Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple announcement. Join us every Sunday morning for our Sunday morning worship experience, 11 o'clock a.m. via Facebook Live or YouTube. Sunday late afternoon delight, 5 o'clock p.m. also Facebook Live or YouTube. This broadcast features our dynamic ministers of our assembly. On Monday, we feature our motivational Monday moment where yours truly, Pastor Trish, is the host. It airs at 1 o'clock p.m., where I take a moment to talk about the Word of God. Also on Mondays, we have our men's ministry prayer, 8 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. The ID is listed on your screen. And we did not leave our young people out. On Mondays at 9 o'clock p.m., we have Freedom Side Chats where we feature our young people of our ministry. They discuss relevant and pertinent topics of the day. On Wednesday, our pastor has an exciting broadcast entitled On the Road Again, 5 o'clock p.m. Facebook Live, as well as an informative and uplifting Bible class, 7 o'clock p.m. Join us Facebook Live or YouTube. On Thursday, view Pastor Daniel again for his broadcast at 11 o'clock a.m., Oh, taste and see Facebook Live and then join us for our Throwback Thursday broadcast, 1 o'clock p.m., where we feature awesome and anointing preaching and singing from past years. We know God's word never changes. On Saturdays, we have sunrise prayer, 7 o'clock a.m., using our church conference call number. We know that we are to pray without ceasing. That number is also listed on your screen. We have exciting Christian education for all ages. Our grief support has informative and interactive meetings on the third Saturday of each month at 11 o'clock a.m. via Zoom. We have licensed counselors on staff to serve you. For all of our special services, meetings, and events, Please visit our Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple Facebook page where you can view all of our videos, live broadcasts, and posts for more exciting content. And if you would like to connect with the community of Greater, we are on all social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, as well as Instagram. Be blessed. I know you're feeling better now after that wonderful experience. Yes. I told you God was going to bless you. And as I always love to end, be prayerful, be positive, but oh my, be purpose. God bless. God bless.